Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to determine your Wi-Fi signal strength on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there is a difference between Wi-Fi signal strength and Wi-Fi speed. Signal speed is basically how fast the internet is delivered into your home. While signal strength determines how fast your router can deliver a connection to your devices. So there will be a diminishing return. There's resistance, there's friction, there's issues in the wires itself that will degrade the performance of wireless signals over a greater distance. The same can be said for wired signals as well. However, they're usually more resistant. They have certain uh, coating on the wire that would prevent degrading or at least mitigate it as well as different interferences in your home. I mean, technically, your microwave could even affect your Wi-Fi signal in your house, as well as even wired signals, depending on the type of casing of the wire. So a lot of different nuances that go into measuring speed and signal strength, which I'm not going to get into in today's tutorial, but I'm going to show you guys a very basic way to see how fast or a very basic way to see if you have a strong Wi-Fi signal on your computer. And... This is a very general tutorial. You can look into other software that might show you your decibel rankings on how fast your Wi-Fi signal is. So if you want to use third-party software, generally it's on a range of negative 30 decibel milliwatts to negative 90 decibel milliwatts. So the closer you get to zero, the better signal quality it is. So negative 30 is perfect, while negative 90 is barely or it's completely disconnected. You don't have any wireless signal at that point. So just if you're using any sort of software online to kind of go beyond this tutorial, you can look into that. Basically, it's a range between negative 30 and negative 90. So in today's tutorial, it's going to be more represented in a percentage format. So I just want to put that out there. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best results, should come back with command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video and just go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in, hit enter on your keyboard. So I don't actually have any wireless or Wi-Fi adapters on the system. That's why it's not showing anything here. However, if it did, you would just scroll down. It would tell you what your signal strength is and it would be represented by a percentage. So that's just something to keep in mind. The higher percentage, obviously, the better. It'd probably be very hard to get 100% on that, but you can get very close to it. So just want to put that out there. Should hopefully have been a pretty straightforward process there, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.